today i gonna demonstrate team member in this widget you can make a team member listing but first of all you need to set up team members for that from the plus settings you will see the default setting to the plus post type that means our plugin will create tp team member post type by default or you can use any of your pre-built theme based custom post type once you select this option your post type will be available here once you have a tp team member in add new you can enter team member name their category their feature image as well as their other information you can see all of the information is available here once you have all the team members created you can see we already have created team members like this you need to go to elementor and you need to find a widget team member listing in a team member listing first of all you will have option for the style there will be total four styles you can see it over here you can see different styles specifically style for use masked image that means you can use any of your PNG with such a save and it will automatically convert your team members feature image in that save. So you must check it out style 4. Once you select styles, you will select a layout. There is three options, grid, masonry and carousel. Then you have the content alignment option, you can select the left center or the right you also have option to disable link if you don't want to put any link on this you can disable it after that you can show the, those team members based on their categories you can select the maximum post to display you can select the offset value then you can select the order by and you have option for ascending and descending then you have option for columns manager which is available for desktop, tablet and mobile. You also can adjust the gap between like this. Then you have the extra options such as first of all you have SEO option so you can select the title tag. Then you have option for display designation if you want to turn it on or turn it off. You can turn it off you also have option for social icon then you have option for the category wise filter in a category wise filter you have option to change the text for all then you have different styles for the filter category then you have the hover styles like this if you hover over that it will be a different style so let's keep first one then you have alignment options you can change the filters alignment so for now let's turn it off in a style tab you have a typography option for the title you can adjust from here like this then you have option for the weight you have option for the transform style decoration line height and letter spacing most of options are for the response so you can change it in your small devices or the desktop then you have color for the normal and for the hover situation all the options are available for the designation like a title the typography and color same in the social icon you have option for the color of the icon for normal and hover condition after that you have options for the featured image where you can set the margin padding inner background color border radius then there are two options css filters and box shadow which are available for the normal and for the hover condition such as if you say 
set CSS filter and if you want to blur it out or you need to adjust brightness you can do anything you want from CSS filter and which will change based on hover so on hover you can change the different look something like this after that you have box look background style from there you can adjust the padding of whole loop like this let's keep it zero then you have box border like if you want a border around it in a border you have option for the solid dust and everything there is the border width now there is option for the border color on normal and hover condition with the radius then you have background color for normal and for hover conditions and box shadow for both normal and hover there is extra options as well that is messy columns in the messy column you can adjust the margin on top here we have selected 14 for the first column minus 18 for the second column 44 for third column and fourth column have nothing that means if that that have no value selected it will take value from the first one and fifth one also have minus 20 sixth one is minus 15 so it will work like that and those options are responsive friendly so if you don't want a messy layout in your small screen you can put zero over here that simple here is option for the on scroll view animation we already made a separate video for that you can check it out on our channel we have separate video for on scroll view animation now let's go to the content area in a content we have look at the grid masonry now let's look at the carousel options in the carousel option you have multiple options will be available such as in extra options you can select a feature image type that means if you select grid image it will show all the images of same size and if you select the full image it will show actual image of those team members let's keep grid for now in a style tab there is carousel options now in a carousel option first of all you have option for the horizontal or vertical slider mode secondly there is option for the slide speed which also can you can manage that by autoplay option and autoplay speed after that you have option for the columns that will be for desktop for tablet and for mobile in a desktop you can select if you want a next previous one column by one column or all visible columns if you select that all visible column will change by default let's keep one one column for now after that you have a slide fading you can adjust that from here then you have option for the draggable infinite mode pose on hover adaptive height autoplay all these options you can try it out and you will find lots of options available there and lots of possibilities for your touch devices and for your desktops after that you have options for the dots or the arrows like you can turn on arrows as well and both have different styles to choose from and based on the style there will be a color options or the like multiple color options then you have option for top padding of dot you can adjust the top padding based on your design after that there is option for on over dots that means if you enable these it will be hidden until you hover on that section you can see the dots and it will be invisible so that same options are available for the arrow as well the on hover arrows outer content arrows and all the color combination based on their styles and there is a special option that's called center mode which is enable right now if i turn it off you will see this is the normal carousel and once you are enable the center mode you will see the difference now in a center mode you can adjust the center padding that creates this effect see now if you want none then other slides will be normal if you select scale 
you can adjust the activated slide scale and normal scale then you have option for the shadow as well if you want to put the shadow for the normal and for the other so by these two methods you can divide your center slide and with the others then you have options for the rows as well so these are the options are available in a team member listing you can check it out our all demos and you can import all demos from plus design so this was the team member widget thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video